Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Diana. Hello. Hello. Good evening. We'll give the rest of the classmates a few minutes. I saw them very, very active on the WhatsApp, Diana. Did you see that? Have you checked the WhatsApp? Yeah, <laughs> I have seen that. Um, I already completed the, the platform, so um, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, nice. Did you get your certificate? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Guille, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good, Good evening, evening, sir. Hello, hello. Yes, I, I'm here. Yeah, I'm ready. Ready. To ready. Do. Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> like that. I like that. Peter, uh, one question. Yes. Uh, once uh, we finished this course, uh, the, the intermediate uh, number three, uh, what kind of module we are going to, to take, uh, advanced or, or intermediate? You know, let me check. Let me check for you. Uh, mm. Let me go into, in YouTube, I don't know if you've noticed that we have a whole bunch of playlists let me see what follows this one. Uh, let me see YouTube. Let me see if I can go in. And after P, let me see. We have PA1, PA2, PA3. Intermediate, let me see if we have advanced. PA2, PA3, A2. A1. You know what, Guy? I think it might be advanced. I, I, so they also have levels. Uh, so for example, you go into A1, which is advanced one. I do not see a pre-advanced four. So I can only, let me see. Oh, I saw it. Ver más tarde me dice. Hold on, let me see, let me see. The thing is, I don't. Yeah, it goes from PA1, PA2, PA3, and then the only thing that I see it is A1. It means so, that it it can be possibly the the the, the advanced level. It might after be finishing. right, but remember that there's a one, a two, a three. Yes, and then there's there's also there's there's higher levels. 
So you might, well, you're definitely moving on from the piece because I don't see, I see, I see intermediates. I see beginning. And then it jumps to a a one. So there's a there's a huge chance that you guys are going to go into a one. Now, if you guys feel comfortable with moving into a one, I would definitely recommend it. Remember that you have to test how much you know, right, and see how comfortable you feel. Um, there's been cases where if you don't feel comfortable. Uh, you could try doing, you know, something a little bit different because there's different types of classes that don't involve levels. Mm -hmm. So you could definitely ask, you know, what are my options? Yeah. I don't see anything. On, there's a PI3, but I, that's intermediate, pre-intermediate three. And then they have one, two, and three as well for those. Yeah, the only one I see here is advance. But that's a good thing, Guille. That's a yes. good thing. Right. Yes, right. We, we can learn uh, more. Can learn a little bit more. Once we are at the advanced level. Right. I, I've seen some of the classes at the advanced levels where it's just about... Uh, oh, give me one sec. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry about that. Thank you, Guy. Um, I've seen some where they'll bring up a topic and then they'll just ask you stuff about the topic. And that's truly reinforcing the conversation skills and how to use it. So, for example, if you are using relative clauses, you know, who, which, whom, whose, the exercises that you guys will do will only involve those. And then, so that's what they focus on the most. I think you guys are gonna like it. You guys like the conversations a lot. So I think you guys are gonna like once you guys get to those levels. Yes, I think so. That is the importance of the, of the advanced level to, to make a review of all the things that we have studied. Yeah, I think, I think, I think that's what they do. I've seen a couple of those and um, I like the way that they start off the conversations. Um, you know, from the very beginning, from the welcome or introduction, all the way up to an actual conversation. It's, they're actually pretty good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All for right. Information. Okay. Paco, Paco. Oh my goodness. It's Miracles de Ceniza. I forgot. Are we already tan rápido, Paco? Good evening. I, good I evening. Was, just came back from church. That is always good to see. And it would be Ash Wednesday, right? There you go, Ash Wednesday. Miércoles de ceniza. Yeah, the beginning of the Lent. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So fast, but it's also very good. Um, also, in the news, guys, did you guys see that we already have access to the COVID-19 uh, shots? A la vacuna, anti-COVID-19. So yes. I, I, I'm thinking, man, I don't know. I'm, I'm having, you know, one. Well, let me ask you guys. How do you guys feel about la vacuna COVID-19? COVID-19 shot. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, I would like to ask for permission because I have to gotta go to work. I have customer coming in in about 50 minutes. So I have to move from home to, to the airport. So I, I don't know if there is any problem if I leave the meeting. Paco, there's absolutely no problems with you leaving. Um, I wanted to do a quick review of some of the items, but other than that, it's going to be you know a little bit of practice. Uh, a little bit of a review, and then we're set. So, right. Paco, it's okay. Thank you for telling me. And okay. drive safe and be safe. 
Thank you very much. I appreciate. Thank you very much. Have a Thanks. nice class. Take care. Take care. And that and that is true, Ivan. Yeah, the, the recording stays and you can watch it on YouTube. Totally, totally. All right, everybody. So let's talk about the shot. Let's talk about the COVID-19 shot. How many of you guys are going to get the shot? That you know you are going to get the shot. You're saying, I'm going to go and get it. I'm still thinking about going. You still think? Yeah. All right. Okay. And you can also refer to it as the vaccine, the COVID-19 vaccine, uh, the COVID-19 shot. Um, Ivan, how about you? Are you are you taking are you getting the shot, my friend? I don't know. I'm still doubting about it. All right. Are you gonna wait to see if we start speaking Russian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, this one's from India, right? Yeah, you will speak English with Indian accent. With a very deep, uh, very deep accent. Dear I friend. shall say, dear friend, my dear. Yeah, yeah, I can, you know, it's really hard to do. It's really hard. All right. Karen, Karen, are you going to get the shot? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, Karen. Welcome. Are you, Karen, are you going to take the shot? Will you receive la vacuna for anti-COVID-19? No. No, not, not, <laughs> not, not feeling it? No. All right, all right. Uh, Guy, I think Guy already answered right. Hi, Melissa, welcome. Diana. Are you, are, will you be receiving la vacuna, Diana? Will you be? I don't know. I think it's common to feel afraid or insecure it about that. It feels a little bit weird, right? It feels a little yeah. bit weird. All right. Uh, Melissa, will you be getting the vaccination, la vacuna, the vaccine, anti-COVID-19? Are you going to go get the shot? I'm not sure. I not guess sure. you really wait to to see what happens. <laughs> so you see how it works? Like yes. what what percentage is it? Like a 50 50? Mm. Less than that. <laughs> Less, maybe 10 percent. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, maybe that. Maybe a little bit. Hello, Glenda. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Glenda. Hello. We're asking everybody here for, yeah. you know, for general, general information, general question. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Glenda, are you going to get the vaccine, la vacuna? Yes, but no, I'm not sure. No. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I, you know, I'm not sure. All right. Well, I, I think that we all feel the same way. Now, let me tell you that when it comes, there's a shot that they give here that's very common, que es la vacuna anti-flu. Yes. Okay. Do you guys receive that shot? Do you guys get the shot, the anti-flu shot? I haven't. No, you I haven't. haven't gotten, I haven't gotten that, that kind of shot. Vaccine. I can. I say vaccine, right? You can say vaccine. Yes, and, you can say. But I heard that. I heard many people say that uh, when you when you get that kind of vaccine for the flu. 
uh, uh, you have um, or, or you get other symptoms. Yeah. Uh, you can produce um, some flu or some cold. I don't know why. But. That is that is actually that is actually right. And and what happens is that when they when you get that shot what they're doing is they're actually giving you the i want to say the disease right they actually they they están infectando on purpose so that your body can create the antibodies so it's it's very small but what happens is that they are they are on purpose giving you or making you sick. You know, that's the whole point of that shot. Um, same thing happens to the shot for TB. Well, not the shot for TB, but the test for TB. Have you guys ever received a test for TB? Mm, TB is, is tuberculosis. Um, so what uh -huh. happens, what happens with that is that you receive, they actually infect you with tuberculosis to see how your body reacts. Now, if your body reacts violently, that means that you have never had it. And it's the first time that you receive it. So your your body, what it does is it, it creates like a little barrier. And so it kills it automatically. Now, if you have been next to somebody who had tuberculosis and you already have, you know, have uh, had it, then your body doesn't react the same way. And so that's why when they give you the little shot, uh, they look for the reaction in your body because what they're doing is they're giving you tuberculosis to see how your body reacts to it. So, ojo con eso también. Tuberculosis, flu, they do the same thing. Now, esta vacuna que están dando, bueno, la, la general en todo el mundo, no es o, o no funciona de la misma manera, porque no te están infectando, dicen, sino que lo único que están haciendo es, están preparando tu cuerpo para cuando o si la enfermedad te llega, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que están haciendo es como que te están preparando y te están dando antibodies para que tu cuerpo lo pueda resistir. Así dicen, right? I'm not a doctor, mm -hmm. I'm a teacher. So, uh, all I can say is that I am with you guys and I'm not sure if I will ever get the shot unless I see that maybe a lot of people get it and nothing is happening, I, then I might be able to go and do it. But if I see that a lot of people are getting the shot and they start to speak Indian or Russian, I don't know. I think I might not end up, you know, I might not get it. So, you know, hopefully everything works out. All right. All right, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to class. Today it is day number three, week number four. We have one more day and the party begins, right? Today is the penultimate day. And what I wanted to go over with you guys is maybe try to go over some items that we have seen over the course of the class and maybe perhaps kind of work on some specifics and explain to you what they are and how are they used. And this is in preparation for your future classes. Okay, now most of the items that we're going to see are from a presentation. And what I do is I pretty much everything that we look at on our, on our work environment, on our website, what I like is I like to take little chunks out and put them on a PowerPoint and then kind of use them you know, whenever I need to use them. So if there's anything that I, that I see that I'll probably need later on, I'll try to save those and then bring them back up as soon as um, as soon as we need them. Um, so I thought since we were about to finish, I noticed that a lot of you guys were able to finish um, the sections and the modules. I saw you guys uh, putting the information on in, in the WhatsApp Messenger. 
how is everybody doing with the what's up? Uh, not what's up, I'm sorry. How is everybody doing with the sections and the module? Did you guys, were you guys able to complete? Or are you guys on your way to completing everything? Oh, almost. Almost, almost done? Oh, almost. Oh, okay. How many of you guys received your certificates already? I know Ivan, Ivan, I think you already received it, right? I haven't received the certificate, but I'm thinking to complete the, the sections tomorrow in the morning. Okay, all right. Uh, Guy, are you close to the 80% or did you already pass the 80%? Let, let me see you. Um, uh, I can see that information click clicking on progress, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yes. No, I still... Because I haven't finished the section four, I'm about to to finish that section, and I hope tomorrow uh, I will finish tomorrow the the section five. Um, unfortunately, I only have the fifty percent, but I, if I I think if I complete the sections tomorrow, I will increase the the percentage. Okay. All right, all right. Well, that'll work. That'll work. Okay. All right, well, that's good to hear. And so hopefully everybody gets at least to that 80% and then you guys can go and, and you know start uh, asking for your certificate. So that's good, that's good. So let me go ahead, let me go ahead and go over some of this stuff so that we can review it. And then uh, we can talk about it as well. Let me go ahead and open our website and then that way we can also have it available. Um, let me see here. I think we're all set. Let me go ahead and start sharing my screen. And here you go. Okay. So this is the way we have our setup. We are in intermediate. Oh, wait a minute, Guille. So your question, if we are in intermediate three, you are going to pre-advance, my friend. Right. Uh, thank you, teacher. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you guys are, that's gonna be the next one, pre-advanced. Okay, and I'm sorry about that. I, I think I said advanced. No, no worries, teacher. All right, okay. All right, so here we are. We, I, I, I think we quickly saw section four. Actually, we're pretty much set with that one. And then everybody was already like on section, going into section five. If you guys haven't gotten to section five, uh, please let me know. I can I can quickly kind of review it. And so this is what I wanted to show you here. This is my presentation that I that I that I tell you that I saved most of this information. And so what I would like to do is I would like to kind of just look at some of this stuff as a as a as a review preparation. If you guys have already seen it, uh, please help me out, right, in any way you can. Uh, if you guys have not seen it yet, then remember that all of this stuff is on our module. So whenever you go into, depending on the module that you're taking, more than likely you're going to see this at one point or another. Um, so some of the first items that we see is just kind of like a description of, uh, you know, different rules and different things that we can apply when we're speaking English. Now, English, they know it or people talk about it because of the sounds, right? You can see a word that is written in a certain way, but once you say it, it, it it's going to sound different. So uh, English in general is more like I, I want to say that it's more like singing, right? 
uh, a song or or you're reciting a poem and you know it sounds very very flu fluent and it has a lot of rhythm and so it makes a lot of noise and and so that's what we're kind of looking for when whenever you guys um, refer to speaking English or getting better at conversational English or just being able to pronounce correctly right so we we start off with just you know kind of like a quick glimpse at the very first portions of it so uh, possessive adjectives in the form to be you know um, if you are using a subject pronoun or a possessive adjective well the subject pronouns that we use are i you he she it we once again you and they now for reference when you guys hear the word you we have a tendency to over pronounce the why you know you have to be careful with that one i want you guys to think of the word in spanish for ice right if you guys are saying yellow you have to pronounce it like in spanish Tráeme el yellow. well in english you would kind of sound the same because you would need to say yellow right yellow so that also applies to the word you try not to sound out the why too much it, the sound is you. The sound is not you. No puedes decir you, porque you in English significa judío, right? O no pueden decir chess. Chess. It has to sound with that really, really soft you. It is almost as if you are pronouncing the letter U. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. And then we have the possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, its, our, your, and their. Try repeating after me with your mics off, with your mics off. You guys don't have to bring in your mics unless you really want to. My. my. Now, for my, there are actually two words. You can say my or you can say mine. But you have to think about what is it that you're trying to imply when you use mine. Usually... We use it because somebody asked us, who's, who's, whose chanclas are these? And you say, those are mine. And then you leave it like that. And you could use my, and my is a little bit short. It needs a little bit more to reinforce the true, the, the true phase, phrase, I'm sorry. Whose chanclas are these? Those are my chanclas. And you have to finish it with chanclas. Right, so you can use either or, but you have to be careful on how you're using it. My, your, his, her, it's, our, your, and their. And if you notice, it's doesn't have the little apostrophe, right? But there's two of those. So it is not an error. The thing is that there's actually two that you can use. You can use it's with the apostrophe because that means it is. And it is what we know as a contraction. And you can use it without. But when you use it without, it is a possessive adjective. That's 
we can say the dog played with its ball because the ball belongs to the dog. Or that's its, that's its owner if you're talking about the dog belonging to somebody, right? And you don't need an apostrophe there. So you can also use you are, which you actually pronounce it a little bit different because you pronounce it your. When you use your, you are trying to use you are, and this is a contraction. Okay. Now, what are you trying to say when you use this word, when you use your? You are trying to say you are, and then, you know, whatever you want to use. You are perfect. You are so funny. You are so funny. Right? And then you can swap that. And you can say it like that. Instead of saying the whole words or the two words, you are so funny, you can say you're so funny. Now, the word your is a possessive adjective. It's your car. Right? It's your car. The quién es el carro? It's your car. Okay. Now, you cannot say you're funny. Why not? Who can tell me why not? Or how would you, how would you change your funny for it to be good in a sentence or in a phrase? What do you need to add? There you go, Ivan. Yeah, that's it. So it changes, right? You have to add the E and the apostrophe. You are as opposed to your. Did you guys like your welcome? That is, that is correct. That is exactly how you would use it. Now, actually, actually, wait a minute. No, oh, it would actually need to be like this, Ivan. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. So instead of, yeah, so when you guys say you're welcome, try not to use Y-O-U-R. Right, it has to be Y O U apostrophe R E. You are welcome, and then you spell it out. You're welcome. All right, all right. How are you guys doing with the possessive adjective? The possessive adjectives. We're we're okay with that one, right? Do you guys remember that one? Okay. So this was also part of some of the. Uh, things that sometimes they get mentioned. Sometimes we, we have a tendency to think that it's already that, you know, that we already know or we already have seen it somewhere. Um, how do you say I am or what are, the, what are the ways that you can say I am? You can say the word I am or you can say I'm. So which is, these are the contractions, right? You can use I am or you can use I'm. And they both we will work out. Oops, sorry guys. You can also use contractions for he, she. He is, is he's, right? Or she. You can actually add just like that. And then remember it with the apostrophe. You guys can also do that. They, if you're going to say they are, you can say there. It sounds very similar 
to there, but it's a little bit different. There's a little bit extra sound there, there, and then you let go the R there, which is a little bit different than saying there. There they go. There they are, right? When do you use there? Well, let's say you guys are saying they are going to the zoo. You can say it like that. They are going to the zoo. But you're saying it really fast, so then it becomes they're going to the zoo. They're going to the zoo. There they are. Where is the group? There they are. It sounds a little bit different, but it can also get a little bit confusing. Okay. How are you guys doing with the contractions and using they or they are or there? Did you guys already know that one? Yeah, kind of. Maybe. All right. When do you use a versus when do you use an? Who can help me with this one? When do you use a versus when do you use an? When the next word is uh, is to start with a vowel. We yeah. have to use N. That's it. The sounds. Remember, we go back to the English and how it's very, very, you know, rhythm oriented and it has a lot to do with the sounds and the noises that we make. So that is correct. How is the sound? What is the sound of that very next word? Right. What is the sound that we're looking for? So, for example, apple. What is the sound that it starts off with? The apple. The A, right? So that is a very vowel sound. <laughs> apple. Apple. All right. So then we would use with apple, we would use an apple. An apple. How about doctor? Doctor. What sounds do you guys hear? What type of sound is that? Is that a vocal sound? Doctor. It's a D sound, very, very deep D, right? Doctor. So in this particular case, you would use an A. A doctor. Okay. Pretty simple, but sometimes we have a tendency to forget. With time, if we hear somebody that's using it, the wrong way we start to copy them and so i don't want that happening to you guys right and apple a doctor okay all right any questions so far how, how, how are you guys feeling is this stuff is this stuff that you guys still remember pretty good yeah all right okay all right how about phone numbers in the united states phone numbers in the United States. So phone numbers in the United States, they all start off with an, with an area code. It, it and you say three, three, uh, three first and another three numbers. And that is correct. The other, the other numbers that you have. That is correct. So it would be three for the area code, three for the start of the numbers, and then four. So... Three, three, four. That is correct. Area code will always go first. And how do you say your full number? Well, two, one, three, four, six, five, seven, five, nine, nine. People don't say 213, 465. Well, some people do, right? But usually they, you know, the most common way is each number individually unless the number at the end ends with a zero. Some people might say 90 at the end, right? 75, 90, just to make it a little bit shorter or that's how they remember it. 
When you say zero, be careful with the zero. Z -z zero. Some people have a tendency to sound like a zero. We don't want to sound like a zero, right? Any questions about the numbers? Uh, the zero can also be known as an O. So if there was an O, if there was a zero here, we could also do an O. Two one three four zero oh, five seven five nine nine, and that is another way that you guys can do the number. Everybody okay so far? Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. So these are some real basics, right? Uh, we already saw this, so we're gonna kind of skip on uh, the verbs to be are already. There's the number again, right? Let's see here. And that's, I think that's some of the most important, this versus these. This one's another one that's common. This versus these. Okay. So that you guys use them in the proper way. Now, there's actually four of these words that we use very, very common. This that, these, and those. Okay, what's the easiest way for you to remember? Okay, this is used when something is near. That, when something is far. These follows the same guideline, near and those far. Now, when do you use this versus that? You use this when you're talking about someone or something near you. And you could say that this is singular and these are plural. This book, it's only one book. Hey, I like that, I like that. These, these students are great, huh? Because you guys are near me and you, it's a bunch of you guys, okay? Okay, so now just keep in mind that this is singular, these is plural. How can you tell which one to use? Well, this is very quick, very, it sounds like there's an E there, like an, I'm sorry, not an E, like an I. This is really quick, this. Yes. However, when you say these, it's a little these. bit longer. It's a long sound, these. these. Yes. Okay, this book, these books. These. Pretty easy. Now, you can say that book when something is a little bit farther. Th which book? That book. Which books? Those books. So this, here, close, that, there, a little bit farther. These, here, those, there. So think of it like that. All right? Okay. How many of you guys remember these? Do you guys remember the difference between these and that and these and this? All right, nice. It gets a little confusing. It gets a little confusing, but 
eventually you guys should be able to get it. We already, I think we're already past all of this stuff. Prepositions. There is a lot of prepositions that you guys can use. Prepositions, the simplest way to do it. What do you want to tell people? Do you want to let them know that it's in the box, on the box, under the box, next to the box? And so look at some of these and see how you guys have been able to use them before. In the box, on the box, under the box, next to the box. But once again, prepositions, oh my goodness, there's so many. You can say about, you can say above, you can say abroad, you can say according to, across, after, against, ago, oh my goodness, before, behind, below. It all depends on what message do you want to convey. Now, there are differences though. You can use prepositions for places and you can say prepositions for movement. Where are you going? I'm going down the stairs. Bajo para abajo. Ah, yeah, I see. Si se puede, si se puede. Are you, guys, are you guys going up the stairs? And you guys can say it like that. Out of the box, into the box. Okay. These are other things that you guys will be seeing and you guys will be using. And I need you guys to start using them in your conversations and how you explain things when you guys are telling a story, right? Where is the boy? He is behind the ball, okay? Kind of go from there. All right, so let me see here. Uh, these are the asking questions. I think that one is pretty, pretty easy. Negative statements you guys already have. You guys already got that. Uh, verb tenses. This is something that we had been looking at and we did, we were able to see it. And so you have verb tenses, verb tense in present. Uh, you can say you have a, a statement. I am an engineer. You are a student. He is in the room. She is my mother. It is a cat. We are friends. They are dentists. You can use them in negative statements. You can use them in yes, no. You have short answer. And then the 12 verb tenses that we have are past, present, future. And then those break down into simple, continuous, perfect, and perfect continuous. And this is something that we had already seen. So we should be okay with that as well. Uh, syllable rules. How do you know how many syllables? Think of the word that you're about to say, all right? And so if you're using the word dog, how many sounds did you hear? Dog. Just one? Just one, that's it. So now what if you're using the word repeat? Repeat. How many sounds did you hear? Two. Re Two, that is correct. So that's how you can tell how many syllables by the number of sounds the word makes, okay? Most words in the English language have two syllables, but you start to find three syllables and four syllables depending on the vocabulary and how much you look for that word. There are some really, really long words that you can find and they, they will usually have six, seven or eight syllables. And so remember the sounds that it makes. Banana. That is a good one. Yeah, yeah, Gia. No, the, the the previous the previous page that you showed us, yeah, uh, that those exercises are very important because sometimes we need to uh, to pronounce the the same word, but when you are using that as a verb, you have to pronounce 
that word different. That is correct. So you see how here we have a noun, and this is what you were saying. So you have a noun. If you have a noun or you're using it as an, you're going to use it as a noun. So this is kind of like a, this is a rule that you guys need to know. How do you stress the word? Well, if you're using a noun or you're using the word as a noun, the first syllable gets the volume. Okay. And the words that we have here are all nouns. Refund. Record, increase, repeat, present, or present, repeat, increase, record, or refund. If you're using the word as a verb, the sound is in the second syllable or in the last portion of the sound. Present. Present, teacher. Repeat. Increase. Record. Or record, right? Record. Refund. So depending on how you're using it, if you're using it as a noun, is at the very beginning. If you're using it as a verb, is in the last. Okay. Good, good, good eye right there, Gia. Good eye. All right. And then from there, we talk about banana, right? And the sound. Three syllables on banana. Wow. And that's why it sounds the way it does in English. Banana. Because there's a really long syllable in the middle ba -na -na, banana right and that's usually how it sounds all right and then from there guys is just you know I, I wanted to show you guys also the words with four syllables conversation right so i want you guys to think of the sound conversation and that's four sounds four syllables that's going to come in handy as well for your exercises in pronouncing and sounding it right. And I think that's pretty much it. Everything else you guys already, you guys already got down, especially colors and stuff like that. Uh, possessives, subject, object, adjective, and possessive, right? I, me, my, or mine. You, you doesn't change for the object. Your and yours, they do have a change there. And then you have, you know, the examples. This is my apple, or you can say the apple is mine. And this is what I was telling you about using my, mine versus using my, right? All right, so we're about to close. So let me go ahead and back, let's go back over here. Okay, so how, for those of you guys who have not completed, do you guys need any help with the knowledge checks? Because if you do, remember that we have the what's up. And you guys are more than welcome to ask for help. Now, once you guys get past section four, section five comes in and there's also that final exam. Please remember if you guys need help with the final exam, we can review it tomorrow. And you guys can check your progress here. For the certificate, let me see. Am I getting the certificate yet? Oh, no, I'm not. I haven't reached it. All right, but that's okay. I'll complete it today. I should be okay today. And I should be fine. I'm almost there. All right. This is where you guys would be able to see it. And if you guys are already at that 80%, you guys should be able to have access to the certificate. If you guys don't have the access, please ask. Hey, that's, that's, that's for sure, Ivan. I think that's what's gonna happen. 
No, I'm going to pass it. I'm going to finish it tonight. Watch, watch, watch me, watch me do it. All right. And if I can finish it tonight, everybody can finish it tonight. All right, everybody. If you guys don't have any questions about our work environment or about any of the materials that we saw, I think we're done. We're good for the night. Let me go ahead and stop sharing. And I'm going to give you guys back your four minutes. Oh, that's the money sign. Sorry, guys. Four minutes. And I want to wish you guys a really good night. Okay. Take it easy. Thank you. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for our victory teacher. Uh, come on. Our victory party. Certificate. Bye, everybody. Hey, good night, teacher. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night.